1 Chronicles chapter 13 David consulted with the captains of thousands and of hundreds, even with every leader. David said to all the assembly of Israel, If it seems good to you, and if it is of Yahweh our God, let's send word everywhere to our brothers who are left in all the land of Israel, with whom the priests and Levites are in their cities that have pasture lands, that they may gather themselves to us. Also, let's bring the ark of our God back to us again, for we didn't seek it in the days of Saul. All the assembly said that they would do so, for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. So David assembled all Israel together, from the Shahor river of Egypt even to the entrance of Hamath, to bring God's ark from Kiriath-Jerim. David went up with all Israel to Baalah, that is, to Kiriath-Jerim, which belonged to Judah, to bring up from their God Yahweh's ark that sits above the cherubim, that is called by the name. They carried God's ark on a new cart, and brought it out of Abinadab's house, and Uzzah and Ahio drove the cart. David and all Israel played before God with all their might, even with songs, with harps, with stringed instruments, with tambourines, with cymbals, and with trumpets. When they came to Kidon's threshing floor, Uzzah put out his hand to hold the ark, for the oxen stumbled. Yahweh's anger burned against Uzzah, and he struck him because he put his hand on the ark, and he died there before God. David was displeased, because Yahweh had broken out against Uzzah. He called that place Perez Uzzah, to this day. David was afraid of God that day, saying, How can I bring God's ark home to me? So David didn't move the ark with him into David's city, but carried it aside into Obed-Edom the Jatite's house. God's ark remained with the family of Obed-Edom in his house three months, and Yahweh blessed Obed-Edom's house and all that he had. 1 Chronicles chapter 14 Hiram king of Tyre sent messengers to David with cedar trees, masons, and carpenters, to build him a house. David perceived that Yahweh had established him king over Israel, for his kingdom was highly exalted, for his people Israel's sake. David took more wives in Jerusalem, and David became the father of more sons and daughters. These are the names of the children whom he had in Jerusalem, Shamua, Shobab, Nathan, Solomon, Evor, Elishua, Elplet, Noga, Nephig, Yephia, Elishama, Bealida, and Eliphalet. When the Philistines heard that David was anointed king over all Israel, all the Philistines went up to seek David, and David heard of it, and went out against them. Now the Philistines had come and made a raid in the valley of Rephaim. David inquired of God, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hand? Yahweh said to him, Go up, for I will deliver them into your hand. So they came up to Baal Perazim, and David defeated them there. David said, God has broken my enemies by my hand, like waters breaking out. Therefore they called the name of that place Baal Perazim. They left their gods there, and David gave a command, and they were burned with fire. The Philistines made another raid in the valley. David inquired again of God, and God said to him, You shall not go up after them. Turn away from them, and come on them opposite the mulberry trees. When you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the mulberry trees, then go out to battle, for God has gone out before you to strike the army of the Philistines. David did as God commanded him, and they attacked the army of the Philistines from Gibeon even to Gezer. The fame of David went out into all lands, and Yahweh brought the fear of him on all nations. 1 Chronicles chapter 15 David made himself houses in David's city, and he prepared a place for God's ark, and pitched a tent for it. Then David said, No one ought to carry God's ark but the Levites. For Yahweh has chosen them to carry God's ark, and to minister to him forever. David assembled all Israel at Jerusalem, to bring up Yahweh's ark to its place, which he had prepared for it. David gathered together the sons of Aaron and the Levites, of the sons of Kohath, Uriel the chief, and his brothers 120, of the sons of Merari, Asaiah the chief, and his brothers 220, of the sons of Gershom, Joel the chief, and his brothers 130, of the sons of Elizaphan, Shemaiah the chief, and his brothers 200, of the sons of Hebron, Eliel the chief, and his brothers 80, of the sons of Uziel, Aminadab the chief, and his brothers 112. David called for Zadok and Abiathar the priests, and for the Levites, for Uriel, Asaiah, Joel, Shemaiah, Eliel, and Aminadab, 
and said to them, You are the heads of the fathers' households of the Levites. Sanctify yourselves, both you and your brothers, that you may bring the ark of Yahweh, the God of Israel, up to the place that I have prepared for it. For because you didn't carry it at first, Yahweh our God broke out in anger against us, because we didn't seek him according to the ordinance. So the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of Yahweh, the God of Israel. The children of the Levites bore God's ark on their shoulders with its poles, as Moses commanded according to Yahweh's word. David spoke to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brothers as singers with instruments of music, stringed instruments, harps, and cymbals, sounding aloud and lifting up their voices with joy. So the Levites appointed Haman the son of Joel, and of his brothers, Asaph the son of Berechiah, and of the sons of Merari their brothers, Ethan the son of Keshiah, and with them their brothers of the second rank, Zechariah, Ben, Haziel, Shemiramoth, Yehiel, Uni, Eliab, Benaiah, Maaseiah, Mattathiah, Eliphalihu, Machnaiah, Obed-Edom, and Jael, the doorkeepers. So the singers, Haman, Asaph, and Ethan, were given symbols of bronze to sound aloud, and Zechariah, Aziel, Shemiramoth, Yehiel, Uni, Eliab, Maaseiah, and Benaiah, with stringed instruments set to Alamoth, and Mattathiah, Eliphalihu, Machnaiah, Obed-Edom, Jael, and Azaziah, with harps tuned to the eight-stringed lyre, to lead. Kenaniah, chief of the Levites, was over the singing. He taught the singers, because he was skillful. Barakiah and Elkanah were doorkeepers for the ark. Shebaniah, Joshaphat, Nethanel, Amasai, Zechariah, Benaiah, and Eliezer, the priests, blew the trumpets before God's ark, and Obed-Edom and Jehiah were doorkeepers for the ark. So David, the elders of Israel, and the captains over thousands went to bring the ark of Yahweh's covenant up out of the house of Obed-Edom with joy. When God helped the Levites who bore the ark of Yahweh's covenant, they sacrificed seven bulls and seven rams. David was clothed with a robe of fine linen, as were all the Levites who bore the ark, the singers, and Kenaniah the choir master with the singers, and David had an ephod of linen on him. Thus all Israel brought the ark of Yahweh's covenant up with shouting, with sound of the cornet, with trumpets, and with cymbals, sounding aloud with stringed instruments and harps. As the ark of Yahweh's covenant came to David's city, Mihal the daughter of Saul looked out at the window, and saw King David dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart. 1 Chronicles chapter 16 They brought in God's ark, and set it in the middle of the tent that David had pitched for it, and they offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before God. When David had finished offering the burnt offering and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in Yahweh's name. He gave to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisins. He appointed some of the Levites to minister before Yahweh's ark, and to commemorate, to thank, and to praise Yahweh, the God of Israel, Asaph the chief, and second to him Zechariah, then Jael, Shemiramoth, Yehiel, Mattathiah, Eliab, Benaiah, Obed-Edom, and Jael, with stringed instruments and with harps, and Asaph with cymbals, sounding aloud, with Benaiah and Jehaziel the priests with trumpets continually, before the Ark of the Covenant of God. Then on that day David first ordained giving of thanks to Yahweh by the hand of Asaph and his brothers. O give thanks to Yahweh! Call on his name. Make what he has done known among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing praises to him. Tell of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart of those who seek Yahweh rejoice. Seek Yahweh and his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works that he has done. His wonders, and the judgments of his mouth, you offspring of Israel his servant. You children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is Yahweh our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Remember his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, the covenant which he made with Abraham. His oath to Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob for a statute. And to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, I will give you the land of Canaan. The lot of your inheritance, when you were but a few men in number. Yes, very few, and foreigners in it. 
they went about from nation to nation. From one kingdom to another people. He allowed no man to do them wrong. Yes, he reproved kings for their sakes, don't touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. Sing to Yahweh, all the earth. Display his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations. And his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is Yahweh, and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols. But Yahweh made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and gladness are in his place. Ascribe to Yahweh, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to Yahweh glory and strength. Ascribe to Yahweh the glory due to his name. Bring an offering, and come before him. Worship Yahweh in holy array. Tremble before him, all the earth. The world also is established that it can't be moved. Let the heavens be glad. And let the earth rejoice. Let them say among the nations, Yahweh reigns. Let the sea roar, and its fullness. Let the field exult, and all that is in it. Then the trees of the forest will sing for joy before Yahweh. For he comes to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks to Yahweh, for he is good. For his loving kindness endures forever. Say, save us, God of our salvation. Gather us together and deliver us from the nations. To give thanks to your holy name. To triumph in your praise. Blessed be Yahweh, the God of Israel. From everlasting even to everlasting. All the people said, Amen, and praised Yahweh. So he left Asaph and his brothers there before the ark of Yahweh's covenant, to minister before the ark continually, as every day's work required, and Obed-Edom with their sixty-eight relatives, Obed-Edom also the son of Jeduthun and Hosea to be doorkeepers, and Zadok the priest and his brothers the priests, before Yahweh's tabernacle in the high place that was at Gibeon, to offer burnt offerings to Yahweh on the altar of burnt offering continually morning and evening, even according to all that is written in Yahweh's law, which he commanded to Israel, and with them Haman and Jeduthun and the rest who were chosen, who were mentioned by name, to give thanks to Yahweh, because his loving kindness endures forever, and with them Haman and Jeduthun with trumpets and cymbals for those that should sound aloud, and with instruments for the songs of God, and the sons of Jeduthun to be at the gate. All the people departed, each man to his house, and David returned to bless his house.